With schools shifting to remote learning during the pandemic, we know some students fell behind. Just how far behind? Well, new numbers out today show in New York State, only 46% of students in third through eighth grade are now proficient in English and 38% in math. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands has the story. Back to the basics has become a bit harder inside the classroom. This as fourth and eighth graders fell behind in reading and had the largest ever decline in math nationwide. It's an assessment showing the devastating effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on children. Not surprised at all. I think that it sounds pretty like on the mark that scores would drop. A majority of states saw the decline in math and reading between 2019 and 2022. That's according to the latest results from the U.S. Department of Education's National Assessment of Educational Progress, also known as the nation's report card. Parents, you know, if you're not trained to be a teacher, yeah. it can be very frustrating to try and teach someone the way uh, like math or English, grammar, all that stuff is supposed to be. The Department of Ed says eighth grade is pivotal for students to develop key skills for potential careers in math and science. We did a little more digging and learned that in New York City, the average eighth grade math score decreased by eight points to its lowest level since 2003. We're Nigerians, so you know, our parents always took education very seriously. Chiamaka Wachoku from Westbury says she learned a long time ago to take matters into her own hands. One thing with my parents, they were always involved in our learning. My dad was, a, you know, was versed in math, my mom was English, so they would sit down with us and go over things, you know, we did in school and, you know, things that, you know, you did wrong, they'll practice with you, so, I, you know, I carried that on with my children as well. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona says this should be a wake-up call and also a chance to address the teacher shortage and that teachers should be paid more.